Hey, bro. Hey, bro. You gotta guess how long it'll take me to drink this whole thing. 60 seconds. Straight minute. 60 seconds. Okay. Six, one, two, go. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> 51 seconds. Hey. Throughout the day, I'm gonna get thirsty again, right? Yeah. What if I told you there's water that you can drink that you'll never thirst again? I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that you would touch him. Touch. What did you just feel, bro? Honestly, to be real, I felt some cold that went, and it's hot, hot as went. I'm gonna be straight the fuck up. For real? I, I felt cold that went as you were doing that. Hey, what's going on, family? So we at the 7-Eleven. And what I'm about to do is go in there and get a water. I'm gonna get a bottle of water and I'm gonna walk up to somebody who's highlighted in the spirit and I'm gonna ask, hey, I want you to estimate how long it'll take for me to chug this entire bottle of water. I'm gonna chug it right in front of them. But then afterwards, I'm gonna say, hey, I drank this water, but I'm gonna be thirsty again later. Just like the woman at the well. And I'm gonna tell them there's a water that you can drink where you'll never thirst again. And I'm gonna preach the gospel to them. And I believe that the Lord is gonna touch them. I believe they're gonna encounter this, the Holy Spirit, the presence of God. And I believe that a miracle is gonna break out. They're gonna give their life to Christ, God's gonna move. Look, all we gotta do is move in faith. We, we don't gotta know how, what, when, whatever, who. We just move in faith, be led by the Spirit, and let the Lord take over. Let's get it. You're about to walk into the 7 Eleven. Hey, which one should I get, man? Look, I like to get alkaline water low key. I'm gonna get the 7 Eleven. This is one liter. 9.5 ionized hydration alkaline purified water with minerals added for taste. Let's see how it tastes. How you doing? Just gonna get this. Got, have a good one. You too. I don't know why. I feel like it's gonna be some. It's gonna be somebody out here. Hey bro. Hey bro. You want to do an interview? We're vlogging right now. You want to do a challenge? A challenge. What is about? You gotta guess how long it'll take me to drink this whole thing. That's a cold water bottle. Feel it. I'm gonna really do it. I give you like a cool mother. 60 seconds, straight minute. 60 seconds, okay. 60. All right, ready? One, two, go. Damn, I kind of gave you bruh too much. God, that 60 seconds, boy, God. I got this mother. Hey. <laughs> got him. <laughs> 51 fucking seconds. Hey. Woo! Hey. <laughs> hey, that's crazy. That was hard. <laughs> Listen. But you just killed that shit. I would've saw halfway through that mother. <laughs> so I, I tell you this, I'll tell you this. So throughout the day, I'm gonna get thirsty again, right? Yeah. What if I told you there's water that you can drink that you'll never thirst again? I need that mother. I work in construction. Well, that's crazy. Yeah, so yeah. I'll tell you this, it's spiritual water. Spiritual water. I want you to encounter the presence of God. You ever encountered the presence of God? I won't even touch you. I'll back up and I'll pray for you and you, you'll encounter the presence of God right now because that's how much God loves you. Go for it. But I need you to do one thing, don't lie. If you encounter something that's supernatural, like different, you keep it 100 with me, you let me know. Yeah. Not this wind. You feel this wind? Yeah, I feel the wind. Not that. If you just like, bro, I ain't feel nothing. Bet. I got you. Bro. She's not going to cap for the camera. What's your I name? You. DJ. DJ Rich, bro. All right, I'm going to back up right here. Look. Face me. So my God, who I believe in is Jesus. I'm going to take my hat off. Look. All I want you to do is close your eyes, put your hands down, and just focus. And I'm going to pray. Just say this with me. Say, Jesus, Jesus. if you're real, if you're real. encounter me right now. In Jesus' name. Now, stay right there. I'm going to pray. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ that you would touch him. Touch. Right there. More. 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 Touch. Hey. In Jesus' name. What did you just feel, bro? Honestly, to be real, I felt some cold that went. And it's hot, hot as went. I'm going to be straight the fuck up. For real? I felt cold that went as you were doing that. Like, no. Like, Jesus. <laughs> You ain't capping for the camera. I ain't capping, bro. No cap. It's hot as wind out this motherfucker. Human as And that wind, as bro was praying, cold as wind flowing through me. Jesus. 
through you. Through me. It, it wasn't on top of you. It was. Listen, I felt that motherfucker through me, and then I felt it first on my skin. So you've never encountered that before? Nah. So I tell you, this is not religion. It's relationship with God. I was never raised in the church. I was raised in the streets. I'm from Broward. Me too. I'm from Palm Beach County. God. So you already know, bro. But I was lost in the streets and all that, and I just and I and I, I went deep into the dope game, a lot of voodoo, a lot of crazy stuff. And bro, I had an encounter with Jesus, bro, and He changed my whole life. And it's not religion, bro. It's relationship with God. What you encountered, I encountered that like times a hundred, bro. In my apartment alone, got knocked to the ground. Demons started coming out of me. Yeah. And the only reason is because I opened up my heart. I said I believe by myself. That same wind, supernatural wind, not the wind that you that, that yeah, no, no yeah, like like yeah. that wind went inside of you. You said it. It went inside. Yeah. That wind, bro. It, it touched me in a way, bro. They knocked me to the ground. I started crazy stuff. There was no pastor, nothing. Just me alone, yeah. bro. I had altars in my apartment. I mean, I was I was worshiping demons, bro. I didn't even know. Yeah. Ancestral okay. spirits. Yeah. But then, bro, like they're not they're not they're not my ancestors, bro. They no. familiar spirits. Yeah, they trying to take over you. They exactly, take bro. Over you. Use and, you as a host. And the Lord showed me, bro, that in your life, what what happens is financially is you you catch a come up. But then all of a sudden, it's like it's, it's like it gets robbed from you. A lot of ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs, and it brings you into a place of anger, bro. Like a lot of anger and rage. And then and, and there's people that have crossed you, stolen from you too, and and it bothers you a lot. Is that true? Yeah. I mean, I don't think about it, but I I go live my day, my life day by day. You know. You don't want to think about it because yeah. because it makes you murderous. Yeah. Like you want to kill so, them. So it just yeah you know yeah right it's like what you said. But you have, you actually have a good heart. You're actually supposed to be a business owner. <laughs> That's crazy as hell, man. I'm trying to start. I, I got my license to be a, a carpenter, so I'm trying to flip houses and everything. So, yeah. <laughs> God, the Lord has shown me that that business that you're about to do, which is legal, he's proud of you, and he's going to bless it. But there needs to be curses broken off of you, and he wants you to surrender your life to him. It's not religion, dog. And also, the Lord's showing me music in your life, too. Like, 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 you can, like you're, you're good at music. You have a musical ear. Yeah, yeah, I do. Honestly, my little brother make music and everything, so. Like, you're good at that. But the Lord's gonna actually like use you to build businesses with an S. The Lord's from you also smoke to keep to ease the pain. You're exactly right. When I encountered the presence of God, bro, I promise you it's tangible. Like that times a million, bro. And it's the best high. And you don't need you don't need weed. Because weed you gotta keep smoking. Yeah. And it blocks out short-term memory. Or long-term memory, I'm sorry. Long-term memory. Yeah. So it makes you forget about everything and you just focus on the on the few on the on the present. But then when the high goes down, you're like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get aggy and then you need like you get angry and you're like, bro, you, you start remembering things. And then you got I need that blunt. That's witchcraft because it controls you. Witchcraft means control. Yeah. God wants to free your soul. He wants you to be freed, bro. The only way is if you surrender to him. I'm a pastor, bro. <laughs> I had a feeling. I kind of had a feeling, but I was like, nah, I don't want to really go there. <laughs> yeah. Slide to the church, bro. You're gonna you're gonna encounter the supernatural power of God. What you just encountered, imagine that times a hundred. Yeah. It ain't it ain't it, we ain't capping in that church, bro. This they, like we you don't gotta come dressed no no way. We that's ain't we, and I ain't pushing people on the ground and, and, and trying to dance like no. Yeah. See that's a new youth church. That's what I'm like. Cause the old churches, you know, you get in there and I ain't gonna say nobody lying, but I don't wanna. But it, but it, but it, you feel like it might be. Yeah yeah. Hypocritical. Yeah exactly. That's exactly what it. I think that's why I didn't feel. The, as right in the church when I was younger. Because maybe they, they're not they're not living the way they talking, exactly. they preaching. Exactly. Bro, we on some like other stuff. Like we on some casting out demons, seeing people come from all over the world to the church, going yeah. viral on the internet, miracle signs and wonders, bro. And there's a reason why we're obedient because the only way to move in power is to be obedient. But you can't be perfect. Exactly. But you need the power of the Holy Ghost. It's crazy, bro. It's just following Christ. A lot of people say they follow Christ, but their actions don't show. Bro, I stopped everything, bro. For real, for real. That's what's up. I used to drink a fifth of Hennessy at least every two or three days. Used to have to pop pills, smoke, smash girls all the time. Bro, God freed me of all that, bro. Like literally supernaturally delivered me from them, de yeah. them demons. I got married, got three kids now. You have any kids? I got four kids. When you give it to him, you say, God, I'm giving my life to you. I already got four jits. I got a girl I love. Let me just get married. I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to obey you. I'm going to follow you. You get filled with the Holy Spirit, bro. Your kids will be generationally blessed. They won't have to go with your, you and your, your probably your brothers went through, yeah. family members. It's probably death and murder in your family, crazy stuff that you don't want, that you don't want them to go through. Yeah. Same thing happened with me. I broke those curses off of my family, bro. Now my kids set apart, and now all my other family members coming to Christ, for real, for real, coming yeah. to Christ. Not That's captain. What's up. That's what's up, man. You're a forerunner, bro. You're, you're you're a leader. God wants to use you. I ain't I ain't just saying this to say it. It's not coincidence. Yeah. You're right, because I ain't have to stop just then when y'all stopped me. I could have kept going. When I heard bro calling me, both of y'all, you know, kept going, did what I had to do. So you're right. It's a, every, everything happened for a reason. I'm going to pray everything. for you right now. 
And then you come Saturday if, if you feel lit. I don't blow people up and none of that. Yeah, I'll give yeah. you my social media. I'll give you the address to the church, and you slide. Come with your girl. We got we got a, we got a children's ministry too. All right. So you can bring all four of your kids too. And they be chilling. All right. What's yes, your name's what again? DJ. DJ. All right, I'm gonna pray for you. So I'm gonna put my hand on your heart, bro. So Father, I pray for my brother DJ. Lord, you've you've given him four children, a woman that he loves, Lord. And he's just tired. He's tired of the same things, Lord. He wants to have a business that's going to boom, Lord. He wants to be successful in your kingdom to give to others. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we plant a, that a good seed is planted today. Father, you died on the cross. You sent your son to die on the cross, be buried and rise on the third day and shed his blood. His blood is what wipes away DJ's sins when, he's, when he surrenders and he follows. And he follows him as his Lord, Lord, and, and, and believes that he, he rose on the third day. So, Lord, I pray you get him to the church so he can encounter more of the supernatural presence of God, Lord, the power of God, even his wife, soon-to-be wife. Father, thank you, Lord. Have angels surrounding him, Lord. We just cancel every generational curse right now. Every curse that's came against him right now by the Galatians 3 that Jesus became a curse to break all curses, we break every curse off his life. Father, I pray that he comes Saturday, Lord, for your, for your glory, Lord. Gets baptized, surrenders, if, that, that, if that's your will, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My brother. Yeah, yeah, man. Man, get my information, bro. It's slide Saturday for real, for real. What's man, God is good. Hey, as y'all can see, God is good, man. He encountered the presence of God inside of him. That's how real Jesus is, bro. The Lord put it on my heart to just pray for him. I'm about to text him the church information. He's going to come. I believe he's going to encounter God in a big way and truly surrender, man. That's what I, that's what we, we want to see, truly surrendered vessels, look, bro. We can't force people to give their life to Christ. They got to want to give it. They got to be like, man, I want this right now. Like, I, like the Bible says, some plant, plant seeds, some water seeds, but God gives the increase. I believe that DJ, his wife, soon to be wife, four children, they're going to all encounter Jesus soon. So y'all, y'all pray for DJ right now. Look. If you said a prayer for DJ, I want you to comment down below. I prayed if you prayed for DJ. God bless. Hey, what's going on, family? God bless you all. Make sure if you like this video, click that like button. Also, go comment down below what you liked about the video. Click the bell icon for more notifications and go share this video to all your friends and family. Also, there are many accounts impersonating me on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I will never ask you for money through WhatsApp. So if you get someone impersonating me with a fake account, make sure to block it and report it. Also, if you'd like to partner with us, click the description down below on the video and you'll see all the ways to partner we appreciate all those who help us expand this vision to the nations partnering with us in prayer and financially we thank you so much and also those who partner with us liking the video commenting down below clicking that bell notification and sharing it to all your friends and family we thank you the gospel is being spread throughout the nations people are getting saved delivered and healed the lord jesus christ is being glorified thank you for all our partners in jesus name